What is going on, YouTube? Here we go again. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of 2 by 2 Growing. Hope you're all having a really good day today. Before I get into this one, I need to remind everyone about those scammers down in the comment section. Please do not fall for any of those scams down there. Anyway, let's get into this one. A very important episode, I must say. All right, let's get right into this one, everyone. So, this is something I never thought I was going to be making a video about, but here it is, right up front and center. Unfortunately, 40% of all industrial sites in Canada have come down with a disease that's not so friendly. You pretty much have to throw everything out and restart all over again. So it is called Hops Latent Viroid. It originally came from the hops plant, as you can probably imagine with that name. And then with the next step of the name, Latent, yes, unfortunately the symptoms pop up later in the development of the plant's growth. So you waste a bunch of time before you get to realize that you're just going to have to throw everything out. And of course... It gets a little bit worse. Here is the grand kicker for you all. And that is you only know if you have this if you test for it. And there's only so many places you can send your plants in for testing. So it is a bit of a pain. And unfortunately the symptoms for this is everything. It shows up as any type of deficiency and you can just be sitting there trying to fix the deficiency, whatever you're seeing or multiple things that pop up and you will never be able to fix it and you'll be left with plant matter with no cannabinoids on it in the very end of the harvest season and that is not fun whatsoever. That's right. The symptoms are everything. Every single thing that can happen to the plant this viroid does to it so we're talking stunted growth we're talking chlorosis we're talking leaf malformation brittle stems you name it and the symptoms can range from almost nothing to quite severe now for some good news on the subject if you're a small common residential grower that has no contact with any industrial place for instance you pop your own seeds you make your own colognes and you never share cutting tools or bring your cutting tools anywhere and bring them back you will have a very low chance of actually getting this but here we go another kicker for you it was found in the water supply in Chilliwack and Abbotsford in British Columbia and that is just two towns over from where I am so apparently it might be traveling through the water supply too just makes everything that much more fun with this viroid what is known 100% for sure, if you do use a cutting tool to do any defoliation on one plant that is infected, and then you use the same cutting tools without sanitizing it, you will likely spread it to the healthy plant. That is the most common way this was done. That's why in Canada, it hit about 40% of people, because all the clones come only from a few different places, and... It just spread like wildfire. If you do want to clean your cutting tools that you use and you want to stop it dead in its tracks, there's only one thing that actually kills this. And if you're just using ISO, soap, that type of stuff is not going to work. The only thing that's known to kill this on any cutting tools is bleach. If you're wondering what type of concentration of bleach you're going to need, that is about a 20% ratio to water, so a 1 to 5 if you may, and that should kill everything you need to kill on all of your cutting tools. Let's just say that this has infected your whole garden and you have been working on something 
a nice pheno, a nice strain that you've not wanted to get rid of and everything's infected, there is still one last thing you can do to continue it on and that is a process called tissue culture and that I'm pretty sure is the only way you are going to be able to continue what you have going on into the future. I really hope I didn't scare anyone with this video. But anyway, I'm going to be wrapping this episode up right about now. So please go down there and smash that like button. Take her easy, everyone. I will see you next time.